Hey, what's up everybody? Corey from My Two Cents. We're going to do a quick installation and overview of this Plesson screen protector. Uh, you can see that we have our LG V10 right here and our screen protector in this little cardboard package. So it's slim, elegant, stylish, and strong. You can see it's got all the standard things you'd see from a lot of the other protectors out there. Scratch resistance, 9 hardness, HD screen, uh, anti-fingerprint. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open and take a quick look at it. And it looks like, uh, okay, we have some instructions here on the left-hand side. It gives you a what's included. Uh, so pretty basic stuff here. Uh, basically clean the phone, polish the phone, use the anti-dust removal strips, and then put your glass on. So nothing too crazy here. Let's pop open the package and see uh, how the pieces come and how they look. Make sure they're in good condition. All right, so we have our piece of glass. We have our dry and wet cleaning wipe, our dust absorber, and then another piece of information on the interior here, a little pamphlet. It looks like the pamphlet itself is another set of instructions of what you need to do to uh, get this on the phone. It's nothing too crazy. We're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to take our wet wipe and start with that first. Make sure we get any smudges, smears, fingerprints cleaned off with this wipe. You want to make sure you put in a little bit of force so you get any of the, the gunk and gook off of there if you've been using your phone for a little bit. Especially the oil, you want any residue underneath the glass that we're going to be putting on. And while you clean it, try to not touch it with your fingers there as well. It can be a little bit tricky when the majority of the phone is actually screen. Go ahead and take our dry wipe here. We're going to go ahead and polish this screen with this particular wipe. So one thing to notice is the wet wipe was actually wet. I've had a few screen protectors come where that was not the case. Uh, so good quality product there so far. Dry wipe, we'll go ahead and just use this to polish it. We're looking mirror finish at this point. You can see my umbrella light in the background there. It's pretty awesome. And my camera dip in. All right. Now we have the screen taken care of. What you can do is use this dust removal sticker really is what it is and use this to remove any additional dust. And normally what you do is you do this right before you put the screen on. Uh, so you could take uh, the backing off of it, hold it adhesive side down, and then use a dust absorber to pull it off. So here we have our screen, we're pulling the backing off of it. And honestly, to be truthful, this phone was not super easy to put a screen protector on. And part of that is because there's no distinguishing marks of what to line it up with, with the exception of the uh, front-facing selfie cameras. A good adhesion of the glass with the glue though. See it suck itself right down. Now I'm not exactly happy with the way that I put this on. You can see that it uh, tears off to the left a little bit. But no bubbles, that was nice and quick. Uh, so we're going to test how well this screen protector will go on for a second time. And that's actually a pretty important factor in screens to me is can I peel it off once if I screwed up the first time? So we're going to go ahead and peel the glass off. We're going to go ahead and set it back down again and see how well that glue uh, re-adheres it, re it, re itself to the screen of the phone. So I'm going to line it up a little bit more. And the one thing to be aware of is once you, if you tip it down like I do, you actually have to put it up a little bit closer towards the top of the screen uh, for the bottom of the phone uh, to not have the screen protector going to pull up when it hits the plastic bottom. So, nothing too crazy there, but uh, a little bit trickier phone than I'm used to when it has a lot of sensors and cutouts on it. So, there we go. We have it on there, and it's looking pretty good. So, we're going to leave it on there for about a week, and we'll come back and take a quick look at it. So, here we have our phone, and you can see that there's no issues with the screen protector coming up or haloing at all. See, all the corners look great. There's a little piece of dust under it, but that's probably my fault here. Down the sides here, everything looks good here as well. No issues. And down this opposite side, same thing. The only part where there is a little bit of a uh, issue is in this bottom right-hand corner here, and that's because I pulled it up with my fingernail a little bit too deep and got some of the adhesive off of it. But still, I'm really impressed with this protector. I definitely say it's worth picking up. Uh, great adhesion. Uh, seems like it's going to last for quite some time here as well. You see them not making screen protectors as wide. 
uh, to thick cases and this one's still wide and covers the entire screen but also still fits into this case this is an oblique case I did a review on this if you want to check it out as well I think the pair of these two go perfect together I'll throw a product link down in the description of this thanks for watching catch in the next one peace peace